Well, congratulations on the win. Uh, first, how are you feeling after that performance? Uh, a little sore, but you know, that's kind of comes with the territory. <laughs> So you're awarded a developmental contract. Did they kind of go over what that means? Yeah, so from my understanding, I kind of keep fighting locally. They kind of help to build me up, uh, make me a bigger name everywhere, you know, get me more recognized. And then uh, when they feel I'm ready, they'll take me into the UFC. Was it maybe just the name recognition? Did they give you ideas or things that maybe about the particular performance tonight that you maybe didn't do or? No, they said, you know, awesome fight. They just kind of want to uh, like help build me. You know, I'm 18 years old. I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not fucking getting old. I'm not gonna um, retire anytime soon. How did it feel to be in there with the lights and all the, the crowd kind of going around? Uh, I don't really think about it, you know. It's just like every other fight. Um, I kind of just get into my zone and uh, just do what I gotta do to win. Who dubbed you the teenage dream? Uh, that was my training partner, Joey Perotti. Uh, I guess it's kind of like a play on that uh, Katy Perry song, but um, part of it's just because, uh, like, ironic, because I was like the awkward kid, uh, like, super nerdy, you know? And then uh, other parts, kind of, that the, the ladies are all dreaming about me, kind of uh, <laughs> one the old teenage dream for themselves. As an undefeated fighter, do you ever go in there and feel like, man, uh, I, you know, the back up against the wall, I have to continue that streak? I mean, you know, at 18 years old, do you think about stuff like that, or are you just going like, man, I'm just going to keep growing no matter what? Uh, you know, I, uh, I'm super competitive. I never want to lose, and that's kind of, um, that's how I go about it. I never want to lose a fight, but I know at some point it's going to happen. I just want to make it, you know, make it as hard for the other guy as, uh, as it can possibly be. What are your other hobbies besides MMA? Uh, I like hiking, buying clothes and shoes and whatnot. That's, uh, that's where some of my money's going right now. Not too much of it, but uh, I don't know. I'm a big, uh, big binge eater, so <laughs> that's a big uh, hobby of mine. So what's the next step? Are you immediately going back home? Are you going to take some rest? Or are you going to start calling some organizations trying to get some going? Or, or, is the UFC going to try to help set some of those things up for you? Uh, I'm sure they'll help me kind of. Uh, help me find like what they want and uh, I'll just kind of take whatever advice they give me or whatever direction and then go with that. But for right now, I'm going to go eat some like tacos or something, try to fuel back up, uh, ball out a little bit. <laughs> you know, obviously being 18, you're young, you have so much of a career ahead of you. How do you kind of balance knowing you have so much time, but also like trying to get there as quick as you can, you know what I mean? Like, how do you kind of map out your career in that way? Uh, I don't know. It's kind of trying to make sure you're not going too quick. Um, Super right. Not going uh, like out of your way to try to take any risks that are going to destroy you. And then kind of being smart about training and fighting. Not uh, Trying not to do what I did tonight. Uh, quick finishes rather than uh, long drawn out fights. Mm -hmm.